Aquarius, it's L here to do a quick reading for you. This reading is going to be about what the person that you're coming to the reading for, what they want to actually say to you. So let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so what does the person that Aquarius is coming to the reading for, what do they want to tell the Aquarius? What does this person want to tell the Aquarius? What does this person want to tell the Aquarius? Knight of Wands. All right, so they feel like they feel like you're very attractive, outgoing. You just you're quick. You could be funny, charming. You attract a lot of different energy, a lot of different people. You're a go-getter. You have an idea. You move on it. You see things through. And then you're on to the next. You're like a butterfly. You flutter around. They admire you. And if this is something they want to tell you about themselves, then it's like, this This is like 20% Leo, 20% Cancer. So it could be like Cancer, Leo, Cusp, or some, one of those two signs. I don't know. Um, they want to tell you that they have a very fiery nature. They're still in a place of restlessness. You know, they're just not, something relentless is what I heard. It's like they just can't slow down. You know, they, they try, but they cannot. They can come in for a short amount of time, but they can't stay. This is somebody who likes temporary situations, temporary relationships, and then they leave. This is a person who really doesn't know intimacy and, and they're not trying to find out what that is. They don't let the grass grow under their feet. They don't stay around too long, they don't stick around. They could see that in you, but in a different way. What else does this person want to tell the Aquarius? What does this person want to tell the Aquarius? The Five of Cups. Um, so you guys could be a part. They regret not saying things to you. They regret maybe putting other people before you, before, putting other people before the relationship. They regret having a third party or keeping you as the third party. They regret, regret not making something established or establishment. There's remorse also. There's this sadness and grief. They just don't know how to come back towards you. The Five of Cups says the relationship is recoverable, but you, you both have to build that bridge. What does this person want to tell? the Aquarius whoa got flipped out two of one they could be planning the nine of swords they feel like you have gone on to something else or someone else maybe they feel like you you feel like the grass is greener somewhere else it's better you know somewhere else versus them with with them and they feel like this is truly the end. Nine of Swords of the relationship. They also feel like, um, so they tried to forget you. They tried to put you out of their mind. But the longer you guys are apart and not talking, um, the, the thoughts and the emotions kind of attacking them. They can't sleep. They can't um, think straight when they're alone. Of course, you have a lot of different people around or you can distract you, but when they're by themselves, it's just like a, a, a whole emotional, mental attack here. And the attack is coming because this person feels like this is truly the end. Like there is no coming back from this. They feel like, yeah, this in this separation, this time around, there this nine of swords this dark night of the soul is really dominating them they thought that they could get over it they thought that they would win they would just forget about you or go on to someone new or shut her away you know but they they can't they're also seeing that maybe it just doesn't get better than you for whatever reason with the two of wands 
they're at a crossroads, an impasse. Like they have to determine or decide, you know, which lifestyle do they want to operate in, like singlehood or being a couple. So this is what your person wants to tell you. This person cannot cope with not having access to you, not being able to talk to you, not knowing what's going on with you. What else does this person want to tell the Aquarius? The Two of Swords. So they feel like um, it's just best to leave this alone for right now. And maybe it will come back to them. Maybe the opportunity for reunion will present itself. But right now there is very little cooperation. You know, you both won't cooperate with one another. It's a power struggle. It's the tug of war. It's the push and then the pull. It's, it's two people needing to learn negotiation and compromise. This person could want you to think twice about cutting them off with the nine of swords and the two of swords. Let's see, what else? The six of cups. So they want to tell you that um, with you, there there is balance. There's happiness. There's contentment. They can be themselves. It's, it's fun. They're in a really nostalgic place. Like they're just thinking of how great, how better it was with you. How great you are. How good you really are you know to the core of you you're you're a good person not saying you do everything right and you've done all good in your entire life but if you strip you down to the bare bones of you you're you're pretty much a good person you know and they see that in you they see marriage with you maybe children they also want to tell you that maybe the you know they you guys can't have disagreement or, or or conversation because it turns into an argument because somebody's lack of emotional maturity it could be yours could be theirs but somebody recognizes that also it's like they're they want to go backwards or go back to a simpler time with you it talks about connecting backwards It, maybe it was just better with you. You could have children with this person. What does this person want to tell the Aquarius? What do they want to tell Aquarius? What is this particular? Okay. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, if not marriage, they definitely want you in their life forever. You know, you are a forever person with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, they see longevity with you. They see wealth. They see prosperity. They see legacy. They see that you guys can build an empire if you both just decide to be committed to the relationship. Not just to one another, but to the relationship, to the longevity of the relationship, to the outcome. See, a lot of people are more so, they look at the, they isolate. It's like, um, some people aren't, they don't have longevity because they're not focused on the outcome. They're not focused on the end game here. They're more so focused on how I feel today, what happened today, what will happen tomorrow. And they're not more so taking a step back and realizing, is this gonna get me to my end game? I said I wanna be married. I wanna be with my partner forever, but it's all of this temporary frustration, hurt, pain, or me causing drama. Is it going to get me where I really want to be it's like so this person feels like you're a, you're a ten of pentacles type of person they could also feel like you have money you know or um they they want a, a piece of it they want to be a part of it you feel like affluence and opulence and abundance is with you an overflow 
they feel like they could just really grow old with you is what I'm hearing but it's like the two of you maybe are not looking at that you're more so looking at today or the day today and not realizing that the day today leads up to the forever you know what else we're gonna get two more cards what else does this person want to tell the Aquarius the king of wands um they really desire you have a lot of desire for you you're in their heart's desire they want to make up with you they could also be coming to you and saying you know in this separation i i was renewed something was relived or revived within me something new presented itself to me maybe a new way of being existing this person also could be coming back to you or wanting to come back to you and say, let's have a plan of how we deal with one another. Because if we don't, then it'll just be the same thing. This person wants to drop the burden of holding back of maybe taking you for granted of uh, just showing up for the relationship and maybe making you do all the work or vice versa. This is what you were doing, Aquarius. This is what they're saying. They also are on fire for you. Lots of passion here. Makeup sex, makeup session. Yeah, this person like, look, the Hierophant, if we deal with each other, we have to have some kind of type of law, order, rule, regimen. We can't just keep coming in each other's lives. Um, the Knight of Wands, in and out. So this person's like, we gotta make something more traditional, more solid, more stable. We either need to get married or we just need to know that we're together. I heard handbook. I don't know. You have to, you need to write a handbook for your relationship or how to deal with one another. Let's see by way of the soulmate cards. What what else do they want to say? And then we'll see what is the advice for the Aquarius. So this is somebody who's kind of renewed here. Let's see these cards fell out. You are spiritually connected to those you love. So this person feels like they're spiritually connected to you. They feel like you are their twin flame. Um, they feel like you guys were split apart uh, at birth. Um, and then um, you spent your lives trying to find one another. You know, so they feel like you're their twin yeah, wow, they feel like you're their soulmate. When you meet your soulmate, you feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. So maybe they, they know now. They know what this is, twin flame, soulmate. They know that there's a spiritual connection between the two of you, especially with the higher fit there. Let's see what is the advice for Aquarius. What's the advice for Aquarius? What's the advice for Aquarius dealing with this person? Okay, these cards wanted to come out. The chariot could be dealing with the cancer. You don't have to be. Remain focused on yourself. Remain focused on your business. Remain focused on your job. Remain focused on um, small, excuse me, making achievements over short-term goals. Yeah, it says um, Knight of Pentacles. Be hardworking, diligent, dedicated, but also stable. So not don't make any move. This is like for some of you see your dreams through. Pay off debts. Karma is happening. It's happening all around you. You're getting what you're owed, what you're due. And the other person is too. What is for you will come to you. Someone could make the decision to come and apologize to you, make something right, do the right thing. 
this person could be in your dreams or trying to show up in your dreams. It says be diligent, be dedicated to seeing your dreams through. So it really feels like this person is going through some type of awakening, right? But the universe is saying, we still want you guys separate, separated right now because they need to go through this and then you need to go through this, Aquarius. And, and once you both do your own thing, you possibly could come back together. What is the message from the universe? Okay. All right, message from the universe in regards to this relationship. see what is the message from the universe all right came in reverse jump so this is the full car in reverse no leap of faith right now no coming back together not now this card wanted to come out the knight of cups so it's like you'll be inspired to reach out to this person knight of cups is scorpio aquarius You'll be inspired to reach out to this person, but not right now. Wait for that inspiration. Wait for the universe to speak to you. Um, the Queen of Wands. Um, yeah, you're magical. You're a star child. People see you. You're getting a lot of attention. Be focused on your goals. Maybe some entrepreneurial endeavors. Um, be focused on your life purpose right now um, versus this relationship. Um, the Judgment card. It's like you will have that time. The two of you will have a time where you come back together and forgive one another and you can move to the next level, right? So it's just, it looks like there's separation because both of you need to get yourself together. You have the high priestess. So do nothing for the both of you because it's like spirit is working on, on you separately. It can't work on you together because you kind of get bogged down in each other. You kind of get stuck on one another. And there's no progression either way. All right, let's see. I'm going to leave you with a Moonology card. And listen to your intuition. The time to come to come back together and just kind of forgive and forget and move forward with one another will come. Some of you aren't happy exactly with yourselves and where you are in your life. Therefore, it kind of spills over into relationships. You're not on your life purpose. Therefore, the frustration in terms of your job or what you do to earn income, it kind of manifests in your personal and relationship life, your romantic life. So it's just like the universe is trying to get you to a place where you really accept you fully. Therefore, when the relationship comes, wow, um, you'll be ready for it. Um, it's time to release negativity. Yes, yeah, like negativity, whether it's in relationship, about relationships, about your job. It's just time to release negativity altogether. Full moon and Scorpio. So it's about digging deep in those hidden emotions and and really letting them come to the forefront, to the surface, and release this. Some of you still holding on to when this person maybe betrayed you or stung you or did something that was hurtful. It's time to release that. And the universe wants you to hold your vision. We talked about that in regards to what your person wanted to say to you. Fixed moon, so you are a fixed sign, Aquarius. Um, maybe this person sees you wavering a lot, you know, and you're not fixed onto what the outcome or the end game is. Don't keep rewrite, re, rewriting your vision. Hold your vision here. Um, this could be in career and finance also. Definitely in love and romance. Once again, I'm talking about what spills over. Spills over to love and romance. Spills over to career and finance. If you're always changing, if you're always in and out, if you're always up and down, if you're doing this and you're doing that, you're possibly doing that in another area of your life too. So it's like the universe is trying to get either you or you and your person to settle down in different ways. Okay. Um, okay. So we're going to do... And the ancestors and angels and know it.
out of here. This person could have known that you were the soulmate twin flame or whatever um, when they first met you, but they didn't treat you as such. It was just like, oh, okay. This also, this person also felt like you were kind of like putty in their hands, like they had you, they had it in the bag. You know, they didn't have to do much because you were just there and you would do it all. You would show up to the relationship. You know, they, all they had to do is you showed up 100%. They showed up like, you know, no percent on, on E. Ignite your passions, fire guardian. So this is about going after some desires that you have also um you don't have to be right all the time okay it is what it is you know the truth will speak for itself you don't have to throw the truth in anyone's face you don't have to you just don't have to do that um yeah the universe wants you to kind of connect with your passions aquarius whatever you're passionate about whatever you're trying to bring into life that's what you need to be focused on, not love, not romance, because it's only it only detours you. It only is a deter to your dreams, to your aspirations, because when you show up in relationships, you show up 110 percent ready to make it work, ready to do any and everything, uh, go above and beyond. And then there's no room for anything else. But the universe wants you to be focused more on yourself. You had the first card out. That was advice for you was the chariot. That's the most selfish card in the tarot deck. It's selfish in a good way because that's the only way you can really get things done. A lot of times it's to be self-directed, self-focused. So it's like the universe is like, look, 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 no love right now. You'll get it. It will come. But you said you want all these other things in your career, in your finances. You need to focus on that. And then we'll bring you love. But you cannot do both. You can't do both. You can't be dualistic. Because you're a fixed sign. You're not cardinal. So, um, you really want to expand something here with the fire garden. Guardian. Fire garden. Um, fire guardian. It's like you have some dreams. It's like, I just wanted to be big. I want to do this. I want to do that. Um, and that's good. And this also could talk about maybe some of you kind of like walking on the wild side. Taking you know taking a load off um go after what ignites your passion what makes you feel powerful this is like unlocking the inner goddess or god inside of you some of you are kind of you know trying to explore sexually some of you may be doing um you know something with Manifest sexual manifestation. I forget what it's called. I don't, just, um, I don't know if you're Kundalini, Kundalini, Kundalini. I don't know if that's been awakened for you. You and this person could have like a really good sexual. life or experience when you are together because it's like spiritual and sexual at the same time so this person could be trying to reach you by way of sex magic or this is what you're doing someone could be having fun with themselves and trying and thinking of you um this is also some of you are manifesting you know via sex magic and having fun with yourself so it, it just looks like all of your cards aquarius are about you it's not about a love relationship. It's not about, you know, go and talk to the person. None of that right now. It's just more so like you want love. It's like you want to put the cart before the horse. Some of you, not all of you. It's like you want love and you want devotion and you want this and you want that. And maybe in other areas of your life, it's just not together. Like you don't have the most stable career Maybe you just have a job. Maybe you are from job to job, you know, because of the market, maybe even because of you. So it's like the universe is trying to get you stable in another area of your life before you just jump out of the window for love. Because And then it could be the other way around for some of you. But it's just like, 
isolation right now so that you can see progression, fulfillment, and graduation is what I'm hearing. All right. So Aquarius, I hope that it resonates. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there so that you can ask, you know, you can ask the cards on what you should be doing at this very time. You know, what is the message for you? Is this your real soulmate? Is this your twin flame? If it matters for you. This is what I have. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, weekdays, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday. Um, you could give back to the reading. Yep, you could buy me a coffee. The link is below if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.